Hey everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on single and placing and today we have an unboxing. So um, super excited. A couple of things came in today. I guess one main thing that has me extra excited came in today. I wasn't intending on filming an unboxing, but I saw that little box sitting on the doorstep and I literally sprinted over here to set up the camera so we could talk about it. So um, we're gonna do a, actually a couple different products today. So um, maybe a little bit of a longer unboxing and I'm gonna save the the uh, surprise item that showed up for last. Um, but the uh, first thing that we're going to be chatting about is ba -ba -da 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 -da, a Diamond Art Club canvas. I've been trying to mix up um, a Diamond Art Club with some of the other brands that I purchased from. We did, uh, the last one was Uniquely Yours Down Under. I've got another canvas from them that'll be coming up in future videos. We've got um, something from Diamond Painting Deutschland that already is open because it was two kits in one, um, but... I haven't done a full unboxing and, and we haven't looked at like charting or anything. Um, so we're gonna go back to that. I have a Paint With Diamonds custom and a kit that are once again open from previous uh, shipments, but still haven't unraveled them and even looked at the images. And so I wanna go do that and go through the, the, um, the charting and the drills for that. We have, what else is sitting over there? I think there might even be another Diamond Painting Deutschland, I'm not sure. Um, and then a whole bunch of Diamond Art Clubs. I've got a Diamond Dots over here. I think one from uh, Mystical, something Mystic. I, for, I always forget the name of that company. Hold on, I have it right here, let's see. Mystical Diamond Art, is that what it's called, Anthony? I don't know, I think it is. Anyways, uh, so, something from them. So um, we've got plenty of the kits to get through. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a no buy unless something really calls my name just because I've got a lot, I've got plenty to work on. So um, let's go ahead and dive into this kit. Um, so this is a round diamond kit. I got this from the sales section on Diamond Art Club. I think it might, I'm not sure if it's an older canvas or just something they were trying to clear out, but this is a round diamond kit. You're looking at 51 centimeters by 76 or 20 inches by 30 inches. I believe this one, I don't remember how many colors this one had. Um, I essentially, so what had happened was um, I picked this kit up so I could hit the, fr uh, just as a second kit, just to get to the free, free shipping threshold, even though I really only had like s seven bucks to spend to hit that. But I got a mystery kit. I jumped on it kind of prematurely. And then I looked up the artist and I wasn't a huge fan of the style of artwork. Um, so I went ahead and, um, uh, redid the order, or I guess I reached out to Diamond Art Club. They pulled off that and then still sent me this one. So I ended up with just this one, which I'm totally happy about. This is The Captain by Tony Sanchez. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of a closer view. Da, 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 da. Cool. So let's go ahead and crack this open and see what we've got inside. Um, I hope everyone's had a fabulous week thus, thus far. I've been filming these in advance, so I'm not sure exactly when this will go up. I'm assuming this will be next uh, Tuesday's unboxing. Um, but if something gets mixed up or something else takes priority, you know, happy Tuesday on whichever Tuesday this is for you. Um, I did something a little bit crazy, not crazy, but I did something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. I ended up um, getting a puppy. Well, I pick him up on Friday. So um, I've been wanting a puppy or I've been wanting a dog for the longest time, but I've never really had a place that I thought was appropriate for a dog for a, from a yard or space perspective. And now I've got this big old yard and I finally did it, so I'm super excited, a little bit nervous and scared, but very excited and can't wait to share um, him with you all on um, whenever that video goes up. I'm going to do a whip and chat and probably introduce him, but um, yeah, we'll have him here in about three days. So uh, once again, Diamond Art Club, we'll get back to the canvas. The Captain by Tony Sanchez. I just like that pop art style. I keep getting called to kits that aren't super traditional or they just are a little bit more eye-catching to me, um, especially on Diamond Art Club. They've got a few artists and canvases that are just really unique and I find myself snagging them. So um, we've got our toolkit here. This is one of the older toolkits. Um, they have some new ones that include some washi tape and a cover minder, but this is your classic toolkit that you'll see pretty much with 
the majority of other um, other diamond painting companies. So um, you've got a bunch of loose baggies here that you can use to store your excess drills in, or you can um, use these when you're actually working on the project. You've got your drill tray here, which I actually like this tray a little bit better than the updated um, kind of harder resin one. Um, but this allows you to um, turn your drills right side up when you give it a little shake, and then you can empty the, e the extras after you're done placing into the baggies for reuse. So very nice tool here. You also have a drill pen here. Uh, this drill pen allows you to place those diamonds. This is a single placer on this side, one drill at a time. And they're also going to give you what they call a multi-placer. This is going to allow you to place four drills at a time in an area that has like a big section of one color. So you just pop that in there. You're ready to rock and roll. You also have a little squishy that goes with it. So that's just going to get popped right on here. Sometimes it's a little bit easier than others. Uh, I good enough for the purpose of this video. So yeah, just a little squishy comfort grip. There you go. And we also have two um, what are called plates or pieces of wax. This is in the shape of a heart, little heart wax. You're going to use this wax to, um, to feed into the pen and that will allow you to get some stickiness to it so you can place those diamonds on the canvas. So two plates of wax that should be plenty to get through this canvas. So we're going to go ahead and set those aside and then crack into the canvas itself. Um, everything at Diamond Art Club is what they call poured glue. It's a little bit more um, easy to work with. It has a little bit of flexibility with, you know, moving misplaced drills around. It tends to hold drills quite nicely and it's a durable adhesive. So you, you there's some forgiveness there with um you know, with folding or any sort of bends or stuff. So here is our round drills. That's a pretty small drill package, considering the stuff that I've been picking up from Diamond Art Club. It's a little baby. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, here's the canvas here. We're gonna roll it the opposite way. Um, you can do that with poured, uh, poured glue, but you wanna avoid doing that with um, a, a different type of glue. It's double-sided adhesive. It's not quite as resilient. It's essentially a layer of uh, like double-sided tape that's laid onto it, so it can bubble and it can river and separate, whereas this poured glue kind of sticks to the canvas a little bit more thoroughly. So I'm just um, off camera rolling this backwards, giving it a little bit of a massage, a little bit of love there. I love the feeling of Diamond Art Club's canvases. This is, it's just extra plush and the canvas has a little bit of a sparkle to it, which kind of translates in your, your, um, your artwork. So let's go ahead and reveal that. I'm going to go ahead and set it sideways just for sizing purposes, but boom, look at that. There you go. I think this is such a fun and unique piece. It is a color blocking dream. If you like color blocking, you're really going to like this. We've only got 12 colors here. Um, so, um, 12 colors. I'm really curious about kind of how they've done the eye there. I want to look at the original picture. Oh, so they're getting the detail of his eyelid and stuff. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So, um, this is the captain by, um, Tony Sanchez. And once again, 51 by 76 centimeter, um, only 12 colors here. So a ton of color blocking, pretty much everything is just one big section of color blocking. So if you are someone like me that's practicing with multi-placing, this might be a really good kit for you to get some practice in with because you can just multi-place to your heart's content in these big swaths of one color. Um, inside that, wrapped up with that canvas, we have our um, larger photo here and then a sticker sheet. You can stick these stickers on your baggies or on any other container. Each color is individual. You can see them pulling up right there. Um, so you can kit up. You only got 12 here and then a bunch of extras. You can use these extras to hand write colors if you want to um, reuse them later. Um, we also have a little step-by-step -step instruction booklet um, with just some basic information and then you get a little discount code for your next purchase. Let's talk about these drills. Okay, set that aside. Awesome. So uh, from what I remember, uh, Diamond Art Club does all of their uh, drill organization by weight. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, but let's go ahead and get through what we've got here. I think there's only, um, oh, there's two ABs in here. I didn't, I totally forgot to even mention that. So awesome. 
Um, all right, so we'll get through the red. This is, looks like it's gonna be in um, the dress here, 666. You've got four bags of that. And then here's our first AB, that's AB 141, which is kind of that white color. And that's gonna be a lot of this highlighting here in the white sections, so interesting, cool. We also have 310 black, basically used for a lot of the outlining here in some of the more detail work. So one, two, three, four, five, six bags of 310, that's our black. Then we have 327, which is kind of that uh, pinkish kind of mauve color. Looks like that's gonna be our skin tone, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think so. Then we also have 740. It looks like just in that sunset in the background. And then we've got two bags of uh, 130. That's our second AB. That's gonna be used as that reflective sun highlight off of the ocean or the water in the background. So that is gonna be a lot of AB color blocking. I'm really looking forward to, to um, messing with this canvas. 445, that looks like it's gonna be her hair there. Then we have 928 that's going to be used in the brim of the captain's hat here. 803 looks like it's going to be, let's see, 803 is E. It looks like we've got that here, some detail work up here, and then also down here. So I think that's the um, boat's windows and then some of the ocean water down there. 3844, it looks like that one is going to be up here. Once again, the brim of his hat. And then we've got just a little bit of 3807 and 30 or 327. I'm not quite seeing where those go. 327 is C. Let's see. Um, hmm, that is good. A good question. <laughs> Anthony, ask yourself the question. Um, at 327, there's such a tiny amount, and it is our C sign. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. let's see. If you see it, shout it out. <laughs> um, 327. I see you somewhere, I'm sure. Well, uh, oh, no, no, that's not it. I may have to pause this while I do a little searching because I'm not seeing, ah, there it is. It is the um, eyeshadow on her eyes. It's a little detail there, interesting. That's like the only place in the whole canvas that it is. Is it on her nails? No, her nails are 666. Interesting. Okay, cool. So that's kind of the whole kit. Symbol clarity is crystal clear, especially with all that color blocking. It's really easy to make out the, uh, the differences or the delineations between the color shifts. So I doubt that I'll be seeing any issues there. It's all very clear. Um, this was a sale canvas, like I said, and was in stock at the time that I purchased this. I believe it was $39.99 USD. Um, so really looking forward to working on it. It's, an, it's a decent sized canvas with just a whole bunch of color blocking. So I think this will work up really quickly and this will be going into my office. So that's that for the Diamond Art Club, The Captain by Tony Sanchez, 51 by 76 round canvas with two AB colors. So let's go ahead and set this off to the side. I'm going to go ahead and hang this up on um, pants hangers. And then these are going to go in a Ziploc baggie with the large sticker and the small one. So I know which drills go with which canvas. So let me just set this aside. I'm going to just whisk it away here. One moment. So um, a, about a month ago, I forgot to check the date, but I want to say it's been about a month. Um, I was in the market for getting my very first custom diamond painting pen or my very first kind of hand churned um, outside of the ones you normally get with your kits or the ones that you can pick up on Amazon. And I've been using these two, which are, I think they're just acrylic pens. Um, I got these off of Amazon. I really like them. They've done me well. I've been practicing with the five placer here. And then this is the three placer that I use most frequently. And then two single placers on this side. So these have been my go-tos pretty much early on. I, I upgraded from the, um, from the pen that you normally get in your kits pretty much after my very first kit. I just wanted something a little bit more comfortable, thicker, more ergonomic. So these have been doing me well for a couple of kits now, but I wanted to see what else is out there and I wanted to try to um, find a company that um, I could get some churnings from. So I went on to Etsy and I'm gonna put the box here since there's no name on it. It's on the other side, but all my personal information is there. Um, I wanted to find a company and also, if I can, I'm gonna try to bring you in. Beautiful, hello. Okay, so I wanted to find a company to order a pen from. 
I saw a lot of recommendations and a lot of videos on, you know, I order from here, I order from there, but I went on Etsy and I don't know how I stumbled upon this company. I'm not sure if it was advertised to me or if I did see it come up on a video, but I've been asking about it in a number of different Facebook groups and lives and no one seems to know about them, but they have a lot of reviews on Etsy. So I'm not sure what happened there, but the company is called Norse Alchemist. It is a uh, pen blank and pen churning company based out of Denmark. Um, I originally thought it was Norway, but it is Denmark. And um, from what I understand, just from the communication on Etsy, the owner's name is um, Jonas, I believe. And um, I just was really drawn to the blanks. They looked super unique, very, very different. And there was one in particular that I was like, this is my style top to bottom, as you can see from like, my gray, gray, white, and blackish tablecloth, and like my two favorite, um, my two favorite uh, mixed notions trays, and then I've got a little wood tray over here. But I like those kind of neutral, natural tones, and this one blank just was speaking my name. Um, so I reached out to the um, to them, placed my order. But when it came to the churning, none of the none of the churnings, as far as like a shape standpoint, really jumped out as like, oh, that one's really cool. Um, so we'll see what this ended up coming out as, but I had asked the churner him, um, directly. What I end up finding is I hold the pen pretty close to the edge here. I don't sit, I don't, my finger doesn't sit in the grooves. I end up getting a lot closer, especially the longer I diamond paint. So I wanted something that was a little bit more flared at the tip. That way I could still get close without, like, cause sometimes I'm diamond painting and my finger ends up like all the way down here next to the actual single the placer and so it ends up getting really uncomfortable with those hard um, edges so I wanted something that will maybe encourage my hand to stop slipping down so far so we'll see what he was able to do um, so it was almost kind of like a custom churning as well based on kind of what I had mentioned so I'm going to pull this away to, so I can cut it open because it's got all my personal info on it um, but I'm so excited I like I said I placed the order I'd say about a month ago so between um, you know, getting the blank churned and then shipped from Denmark. Took a little bit of time, but it's finally here and I'm so excited. I've been anxiously awaiting my very first kind of custom pen aside, um, actually first ever. I don't really consider these guys custom. They're just like 10 bucks off of Amazon. They're just more upgraded pens. So, oh my goodness. A note from the shop. Hi there. Thank you very much for your order. I would be so happy if you'd send me a picture of the finished products. Please let me know if there's anything that did not live up to your expectations. I strive for 100% order satisfaction. I've included a coupon code for 15% off. Um, yay! So if I'm satisfied with the products, please consider leaving a five-star review. This helps a ton. So this ended up being... Um, and of course my contact information is here, but this ended up being, I'll put it here for now, um, the stabilized Masseur Birch, so birch wood and carbon fiber and resin hybrid pen, and then the pen turning service. Um, this was the four bumps with three grooves, but I think that was slightly modified um, to my request, I'm pretty sure. Um, so in total, the actual resin blank was $12.11 USD, and then the pen turning service was $53 USD. So you're looking at a total of $65.11 USD, um, and then you've got your shipping and tax and whatnot. So all in all, with shipping and everything, it ended up being right around $88 USD for the pen. Um, so I've seen a lot of other lo more local... Oh, there's a little note in here. Thank you, Anthony. It says in the box. That's so cute. Um, so I've seen a lot of uh, pen churners that will make pens for, you know, significantly less. You can get a custom churn or a, a churned pen from a bunch of different places, kind of. I've seen anywhere from like the $30 to $60 range is pretty average, sometimes a little bit higher. So this one is on the pricier side, um, you know, when all is said and done, but it wasn't that far outside what I could get in the U.S. And I just was, like I said, that blank, which um, you'll see kind of what I'm talking about just really spoke to me. So let's go ahead and open this. Let's see. Oh my gosh, I can already see it. Oh, yay. Oh, yay, yay. I feel like every time I watch unboxings I've, when people open pens, they're like gas, but I'm like, come on now. But seriously, this is so special and like so unique and it feels like it's kind of your own, um, you put your own stank on it. 
because you picked out that blank. So I can see why people get excited. Oh my gosh, look at that. I love it. So it's got this carbon fiber mixed in with the resin. It's hard to see, it's probably hard to see on camera, but it has this like really interesting, um, especially with the ring lights really messing that up, but it's got this kind of like very fine glitter to it in the swirls and the carbon fiber. Oh wow, that's so cool. And then it kind of moves into this treated and, and sealed birch wood. It's very smooth, very shiny. I love it. Oh my, oh yes, see, that's what I, that's what I needed. So you can see that the, the, the flare at the end is a little bit bigger than it normally would be. So we'll take a look at the other one that I have. So you can see how it's got a kind of hard stop to it, whereas this is a lot more tapered and a little bit um, more smooth, um, especially as my hands start to get sweaty. Um, I slide around all over the place. So this is like the perfect spot to really allow me to uh, rest my finger there. You can even see my little riding callus. Maybe you can't, but um, really allow my finger to sit there so I can grab those drills and not feel like I'm sliding up and down on the, um, on the pen. So I love that um, more, more uh, dramatically flared edge. Let's, let's see the other side. Yes, same, 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 same. Ooh, yay, I'm so excited. I can't wait. I'm like so excited to paint with this tonight. It's a fairly light. Um, I'd say actually this one, these this full like acrylic or what um, resin, I'm not sure what this material is. It's um, This is heavier than this one. Um, this is a little bit lighter. I'm wondering if it's like balanced as far as the weight goes. I'm not sure if that matters, but I do a lot of flipping back and forth between single and multi, single and multi. So there is that. And so in addition to that, this is not an unboxing of this next piece. This is just a show and tell because I didn't do an unboxing. I have been waiting to use these for when this pen gets here and you're not going to be able to know where they're from, but it's from Everlasting Tips. So I got a three placer. I've got a, um, a straightening tool. I think that's for five and then two of their little single placing little niblets. They're kind of stuck in there. And I wanted to crack them open and start using them, but I wanted to use inaugurate, you know, use them the first time when this pen came in. So now I've got my tips and I've got my new pen and tonight's diamond painting session is going to be ritzy. <laughs> I should go, you know what I should do is go grab a little mini bottle of champagne. I have something else to celebrate too, getting the puppy. And last night I completed Midnight Laundromat by Ivy Dolomore from Diamond Art Club. So I've got a lot to celebrate tonight. And sure, you know what? It is the middle of the week, but I can go get myself a little mini bottle and kind of crack that open in celebration of kind of upgrading my toolkits and upgrading my, my puppy life. Very first dog I've ever owned other than the one that we had growing up as kids um, or as a kid. So I'm, there's just, today's just an amazing day and I'm very excited to be able to share moments like this with the community because everyone's always so encouraging and friendly and I look forward to posting, like I, a lot of times I race home so I have enough time to film the video and get it all um, edited and shared with you, with everyone because it's just, it's a fun, relaxing hobby that's also very, very engaging and very community focused and I don't know. It's just, I, I've kind of fallen in love with not only diamond painting as a craft, but the, the small shops that are built around it and just the general like energy and vibe, especially with a lot of the lives that I join. Um, it just puts a smile on my face every single day. So I thank you all so much for continuing to watch. Make sure to share with other creator, um, other creators, should you sh so choose, or other um, crafters and diamond painters. I'd love to, you know, get my name out there a little bit and even get a chance to do some lives at some point. Uh, that would be so awesome. Um, I do have some plans for sharing, you know, sharing the love of, you know, some extra stuff that I have here in the house and shipping that around. Lots of fun stuff in the works. So feel free to, you know, if you're enjoying these videos, send me around to your friends and family who might be interested. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. No pressure, but thank you so much for watching. I got to get out, um, out of here because this is, this is calling my name. I got to go get this set up so I can start painting. So thank you so much, Norse Alchemist, for creating such a wonderful pen. This is awesome. And you know that I'm going to be using that discount code because I have 
I'm gonna do the a single placer and the straightener, and then a multi the multi placer and the single placer. Um, so I need another pen for these two to go in. So I have a feeling there was one other one that had like a forest green and birch. So I think I might be snagging that sooner than later. But um, Norse Alchemist, this is um, if you're looking for the blank, I'm gonna put the link to the shop down below. This is the stabilized masseur birch and carbon fiber and resin hybrid blank. And then the diamond pen churning service that he listed it was four bumps, three grooves. Um, so I don't know if that's what this ended up actually being. I think this was maybe a little bit more of a custom job, but um, you can always see if he'll do a little bit more. Um, I'll, let me just put what I said. Um, Hello, Jonas, we discussed the shape um, to the one that you have listed. Um, Essentially, because there was another pen that looked fairly close to this, but it wasn't one of the churning shapes he offered. Essentially, I'm looking for a wider flare close to the pen tip as my hand gets sweaty and slides down to the tip with my current pens. Thank you for the hard work. Let me know if you have any questions. And this is what we ended up with. So I think he's maybe flexible and willing to have those discussions. I don't know if he necessarily wants people to go crazy with custom requests for churning, but um, seemed friendly enough and willing to play ball. And I ended up with a really amazing pen. So I'll let you go now. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, happy placing. Bye. 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 Got a little time paint.